everyone, Eloise here today for Lawn Horn and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a Halloween card to share with you all. I'm going to use the Build a House dies as my main focal point and I'm also going to use the Halloween um, like add-on portion as well just to make this card even more Halloween themed. I'm also using tree before and afters just because I wanted to use one of the trees in the set and it was sort of like the perfect size so I decided to use like the autumn tree in there. I'm also using the costume party stamp set just because this is like one of my favorite Halloween sets of all time. I love all the little kid images and I just thought that they would work perfectly for this design. And then I'm also using a ton of colors of Lawn Fawn cardstock and this is just so I can cut all of my different elements out from them and I don't have to like use distress inks or something like that. Sometimes cutting out of like plain cardstock is just the easiest thing to do. So that's what I'm going to do on this card. So here it is all die cut out and I, yeah, I just basically cut them out, all of those different colors. And then I'm going to sort of arrange my scene, I guess, kind of to just make sure that I have like enough. So I actually cut out two of the house dies or like the front portions of it. And that's just because I wanted to like extend the house. As I love to do, I love to like get more out of dies and make them a bit different and just like it just extend their purpose, I guess. And so I really wanted to create like a wider house versus just like the front of the house. I just thought that would be really fun. So I just cut out another piece of the house, um, cut off the top and then just added like that roof piece on and um, that worked out fine. So um, I really like how that turned out. I also then cut like the tops of the roofs and the um, window liners and things out of some gray. I cut out some like wooden boards and the stairs out of some browns. I also used some yellows for like the inside of the windows so it appears like there's lights on. And then I used some green and brown for the grassy borders as well. Then I'm using some autumn um, sparkle cardstock. And I just cut like this blacky purple color for the background. I just thought that would be really fun to incorporate. So that's going to be the background for the card. And now that all of my pieces for the house are all die cut out and the background and things, I'm going to move on to stamping and coloring my images. So I'm using tree before and afters and costume party. I really love this new tree before and after stamp set. It's going to work really perfectly with this card. And I love how there's all different seasons of trees, but I chose the autumn ones. And then I also stamped out three of the characters from Costume Party, as well as a couple of pumpkins and like the little trick or treat baskets. Also some candy and the broom and candy bowl and things. I don't end up using all of these images, but I like to have more than what I need because if I needed them all, I wouldn't want to have to like color more, you know? So even though I don't use them all, I just put them in a little bowl and maybe I will use them on a future project. So I'm just coloring in the all of the orange areas with the same orange just to save a little bit of time. Um, I like to do that when I color in a lot of images. I just use like all the same browns, all the same oranges, all the same greens, whatever. Um, it just makes it go by a lot faster. So I'm using YR18, YR12, YR02 and YR00 for that. Then I'm moving on to the greens. So I'm using YG67, YG63, YG03 and YG01. I sort of like combined two of my favorite green combinations just because I wanted this dinosaur to be like a little bit like on the darker green side, but also have like that pop of like lime green. So that's why I decided to mix all of these colors together and it actually worked out pretty well. So I'm happy with how it looks in the end. So I'm just finishing up the dinosaur here. I also colored in a couple of the leaves and the tops of the pumpkins. Now moving on to the browns. So again, I just used all the same brown for every brown element. I just thought that was a lot easier. So I'm using some E40s for that. I'm using E47, E44, E43 and E41. And I'm coloring in the trees and also the boy's hair. I'm also coloring in the like wrappers of the candy bars. And I'm also coloring in like the broom um, like handle and things as well. So I'm just going through and finishing all those up. And then once I finished all the brown areas, I'm going to move on to the mummy 
and any other like gray areas or white areas I suppose I'm just going to add a little bit of gray shading onto them so for the mummy um, I just added in little bits of some warm grays and then I'm just going to blend them out with the zero marker so I'm using W3, W1, W0 and W00 I probably didn't need to use W3 just because I felt like it was maybe a little bit too dark than what I was going for since these aren't gray things they're white things but you want them to look like they fit in I guess so you add a little bit of gray just to make them appear more white I suppose so anyways um once I finished with all of these I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with a zero marker just to make sure that it's all nice and blended and faded into the white once I finished with those I just went ahead and quickly colored the rest of the elements off camera just using some like reds and purples and things um, and yeah so now that everything is all ready to go it's time to adhere this card together so I'm starting off with assembling the house and this is like super easy to do um, I just went ahead and added one of those little like arched yellow pieces onto the back and just adhered it down with a little bit of washi tape I also did the same thing for the other side of the house and then using some glue tube adhesive to adhere um, the like window frames on top of the yellow areas this just has a really like fine tip nozzle on it so it's super easy to only get out a little bit of glue and then I also um, adhered the other arched piece that I had left over onto the back of the door and then adhered the door down into place as well making sure not to adhere the actual like door closed um, just because I sort of want it to be able to be open just that little bit because I'm going to put a little ghost behind there later. And then I adhered on the tops of the roofs with um, some frame tape just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then I'm doing the same thing with the stairs and I'm just adhering that um, over the top of the door piece here. So now that my house is all assembled, I'm going to start arranging my scene. So this is when I realized that I wasn't really too keen on the like stamped colored images with the die cut house the house just looked a little plain next to all of the images so I decided to add some shading onto the house so I could have done this with distress inks but since it was all assembled and I didn't think about it at the time I decided to do it with Copics so for the light lighter gray um, color I just used a W7 marker added in a little bit of shading and then blended it out with a zero marker I also did the same thing for the windows and the doors and things too um, just went where I thought some dark areas needed to be then for the windows I'm using YR23 or Y24 actually and um, I just thought that that matched really well since this is more of a goldy yellow so it worked really nicely and again I'm just adding in where I think the darkest areas would be usually just like under where that window frame was um, I thought it looked really nice and again just blending it out with a zero marker then for the boards up on the windows and the stairs I'm using E44 and again just adding in where I think the shading would be and then blending it out and then lastly I decided to add a little bit of W9 onto the house so since I cut this house out of black it was a little bit hard to do a little bit of shading but I just did it anyway and hopefully it matches a little bit nicer and then because there was still so much white on the images I decided to use a white gel pen and just add on a little bit of like a white element so I'm not very good at this I'm not sure where to put like the white lines yet but I'm trying and I thought that it just sort of made it all seem a little bit more cohesive and work well together so I'm really glad that I did this and it sort of made it like just gel a bit better together so I'm really glad that I did that so now that everything is ready to go and I feel pretty happy with it I'm just going to arrange my scene so I decided to add the little brown hill on the back and then adhered the green hill on the front I then added foam tape onto the back of the house and also onto the back of the images as well and then I'm just going to arrange them sort of how I want them laid out so I know I want that house over to the far left because that way I can have all of my kids be um, in the front of the house and it not cover up too many of the details. I'm going to have one of them holding a chocolate bar. I'm also going to have um, the tree in the background and then a couple of other little images here and there as well but um, 
I'm not going to go like too overboard with it. I did leave quite a few images out just because I felt that the card was very full anyways. So I didn't want to crowd it anymore. And then I just added the ghosts behind the house and one inside of the door. And then last but not least, I just added a little hemp cord bow to the side. I really love this new purple twine. It's super duper pretty. And I also just stamped the trick or treat sentiment onto a thin black strip as well, just because I thought that sentiment was best fitting with this card so that finishes off my card for today I really hope that you guys enjoyed I really love this brand new build a house die I think it's super duper fun and the possibilities are really endless so thank you so much for stopping by today all of the supplies that I use will be listed down below and linked over at the blog and I will catch you all next time thanks so much for stopping by today